Hey, that's a great idea. If only there was someone around here with good bow ribbons. All right. Hey guys, so I was wrong about bows. I said something in my previous video. I would say they're comparable to sniper rifles, but I wouldn't take them to an Eidolon fight simply because they have a charge mechanic, most of them. Turns out bows are better than I thought they were. And when I say bows, I mean specifically the DiQ. I did try the Paris and the same thing that I said in the last video applies to this video. So the Paris with my good ribbon is only on par with a DiQ without a ribbon. Now, I did do some testing without any buffs. I think the only buff I was using in here was the Trans Am buff from Goss, which increases my fire rate and reload speed, and it also increases my melee attack speed, but that, that's, that's it. It doesn't increase the raw damage or anything like that. So basically, it's like a sustained DPS increase, but for the most part, with my Riven and with the Vigilante mindset, it took three arrows to down a limb, and without a Riven, it took six, now I will say that if you're not using a Riven, the Vigilante mindset doesn't make any difference at all. It only it only makes a big difference when you're using a Riven. Now with like normal buffs that you'd find in an Eidolon fight, it is very, very easy to one-shot the Eidolon, whether that be the limbs or his final phase where you one-shot him altogether. It is super duper easy. And you can do it without Void Strike. Energy the team comp I was running was Goss, Rhino, Hero, and Trinity. And the reason we're using Rhino instead of Chroma is because of the math behind the buffs. So if you're stacking like say damage mods like Serration for example, then you're gonna wanna use Rhino. But if you're stacking a ton of elementals and 90% and like the prime elementals and you're uh, not using mods like Serration in your build at all, then Chroma is better. But our, our Rhino had 153% uh, buff, damage buff on his roar, and we're combining that with Hero, and that basically equals a one shot as long as you get a crit. Now, if you don't have a Hero, Rhino plus a two times voice strike multiplier will also one shot. So it is very very easy to one shot idle on limbs. In fact, you could bring the Daiku to a five by three. As far as the Daiku versus other snipers go. We did try the Vectus Prime uh, with the exact same buffs, and the Vectus Prime took two shots with the exact same Hero and the exact same Rhino buffs. Uh, and we did try other dark Daikus in our party, and that was still able to one-shot the Adon Limbs. Now, I did also bring this to pubs, uh, solo queuing and duo queuing, and I was consistently able to out-DPS everyone. People with Rubico Primes, uh, there was, we had someone with a Vectus Prime. I was able to out damage every single one of them and consistently too. So it's not like you need a dedicated group for this or anything. It's just like, it's, it's just a good weapon for Eidolons, believe it or not. Now you might think that the projectile flight speed is bad, but I mean, people use the Lanka and Eidolons for so long and that has a flight speed. And on top of that, they increase the Daiku's already fast flight projectile flight speed with the buffs. So... You don't have to worry about that. It's it's ve it's still it's very easy to hit uh, the Synovias on the Eidolons. All right, so here's the build I was running. Now for Goss, I was running just in case like I wasn't one shotting. I was running him in pubs uh, to increase my fire rate and reload speed. He also increases holster speed and melee attack speed as well. But I was mainly ha having him there for fire rate 
and reload speed so I can get uh, sustained damage increase on my bows. And the only thing that you need to make this good is duration. I ran adaptation and redirection because you don't actually really want health on him. I believe his passive is he, he recharges his shields when he's sprinting and his one counts as sprinting. So keep that in mind. I was also using RK Nullfire to make myself immune to magnetic procs because that would be pretty pretty bad. Uh, but with this and like a, his two without any stacks, I, I was able to tank for uh, energy spike. I also added Vigilante Pursuit uh, just for uh, increase my Vigilante mod set that I was using. And I have an extra slot here. I'm not. I don't have Gauss format at all. So you can totally put um, the other Vigilante mod here. I think it's like shield and shield recharge. And I am running cross projection, but it's not really needed in Iron Fights because this. I also don't use this build as a general use build, and not just for islands. So, anyways, look at the DQ. I'm running Serration, Split Chamber, and my Riven in place of Point Strike, as well as Vital Sense and Speed Trigger. I'm running the 90% for Electricity and Heat to get Radiation. And I had four points left over, so I decided to add an unranked thermal rounds. Now, without a ribbon, instead of running running an unranked thermal rounds, uh, you can run a full ranked one. So I'll show you this right now. I run point strike where my ribbon was, and I maxed out thermite rounds. And then this is this is almost as good. But if you're if you're not running a ribbon, then the vigilante mindset doesn't matter. But I'm running that on my sentinel weapon here but if you do have a ribbon then it does have crit chance on it. just drop point strike for the, for the ribbon and if i added like what a, another dash i could probably max out ther thermite rounds to get an even better damage but as of my testing this is perfectly feasible so i'm just going to use this now i am using Matterai, and Matterai does have elemental and physical damaging damage increases by 25 percent as well as void strike for obvious reasons uh, and like I said, if you don't have a hero, then you can you can one shot with just Rhino and this only a two times multiplier. You don't need a seventy seven times multiplier. It's, it's only two times, and you're good. But also, I'm running that for the increased damage I get with my amp as well. So anyway, guys, that's all for me. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.